performance curves performance curves in the economic operation of the power system first of uh, first one is input output curve let us take up input output curve so input output curve is this is a fundamental curve for a thermal plant fundamental curve for a thermal plant and it is a plot of the input in british thermal units per hour input in british thermal units per hour versus the power output of the plant in megawatt power output of the plant in megawatt so with this graph you can say that if the input increases input increases the output also increases it is uh, nearly equal to linearly that is if the input increases output also increases so this is the input output curve next we have the heat curve heat curve the heat curve the heat rate is the it is the ratio of the fuel input in uh, british thermal units to energy output in kilowatt hour the heat rate is heat rate curve the heat rate is nothing but it is the ratio of the fuel input uh, in british thermal units to the energy output in kilowatt hour so it is the uh, at least slope of the input output curve at any point so this is the slope at uh, input output curve at any point and the reciprocal of this heat rate this reciprocal of heat rate is called as fuel efficiency reciprocal of this heat, heat rate is called as fuel efficiency and uh, this heat rate curve is it is a plot of the heat rate heat rate versus the uh, output in megawatt so here you can see as the heat rate increases as the heat rate increases as the heat rate increases the output the output is decreases as the heat rate increases the output is decreases so this is a inversely proportional both are inversely proportional uh, next next curve is it is uh, incremental fuel rate curve the incremental fuel rate curve so the this this is a fuel rate uh, which is equal uh, this is defined by the incremental fuel rate is defined by is the ratio of the small change in input divided by the corresponding change in the output so incre incremental fuel rate is equal to delta input by delta output so it is the ratio of small change in the input input power divided by the corresponding change in the output power so here the units are again the british term uh, british thermal units btu per kilowatt hour the incremental heat rate this is the incremental rate rate this, uh, the unit is uh, british thermal units per kilowatt hour and the output it is in megawatt so it is a plot of incremental fuel rate versus the output megawatt so if the output increases the output increases the incremental fuel rate uh, incremental fuel rate also increases so this is about the uh, incremental fuel rate curve uh, finally we have increment uh, cost curve in this uh, this is the the increment cost curve is the product of the incremental fuel rate incremental fuel rate and the fuel cost it is the incremental cost curve is the uh, incremental cost is nothing but it is the product of the incremental fuel rate and the fuel cost uh, fuel cost is uh, it is taken in the units is rupees per rupees per megawatt hour fuel rate uh, fuel rate is fuel cost is rupees per megawatt hour so the the curve is here it indicates the the unit of this fuel cost is incremental fuel fuel cost is rupees per megawatt hour here you can observe as the output increases as the output increases the incremental cost also increases linearly the incremental cost also increases linearly so here you can see we have the approximate linear cost approximate linear cost but actual cost will be it is slightly curvature in nature so in general the fuel cost fi the fuel cost fi for any plant for a plant is approximated by this quadratic function is approximated by this quadratic function um, by the generator output uh, for a particular generator pgi so we can write uh, function as fi is equal to ai plus bi into pgi plus ci into pgi square rupees per hour rupees per hour so the incremental fuel cost is given by incremental fuel cost is given by 
if you derive uh, take the derivative of this equation with respect to pgi you will get the incremental fuel cost so dfi by dpgi is equal to a is the constant so it is zero uh, bi into pgi so this will be bi if you derive uh, take the derivative of this bi into pgi you will get bi plus 2 ci into pgi here we have ci into pgi square so derivative of this function will be 2 ci into pgi so the here ai bi ci all are the constants so the uh, incremental fuel cost uh, function is given by dfi by d dpgi is equal to bi plus 2 ci into pgi rupees per megawatt hour so here the incremental fuel cost is a measure of the how costly it will be to produce a produce an increment power in the for any any given plant so the incremental production cost which is made up of incremental fuel co cost plus the incremental cost of labor water maintenance and all and etc so which can be taken to be some percentage of the incremental fuel cost instead of uh, resorting to the uh, rigorous mathematical model the cur can be approximated by this uh, linear cost uh, linear cost curve while there is a negligible operating cost for a hydel plant uh, there is a limitation on power output uh, possible in any plant all the units normally operates between pg minimum uh, the minimum loading limit and below which it is technically infeasible to operate a unit and pg maximum which is the maximum output limit so all the plants in the power system operates within the limits that is pg generation minimum and generation maximum so this is about the uh, performance cost in the uh, economic operation of the power system thank you